What a strange place to build a bunker. Ooh. Helicopter and all, very strange. Also, I wouldn't think grass would grow down here. Actually, no, no, I wouldn't think it would grow down here. No, no sunlight or anything. This is all food. Who's storing it here? So, I'm guessing the plan is for the ghouls. Find the codes for the nuke that is resting here. Launch the nuke, and then, you know, just chill until the radiation goes. Or maybe not not even. Maybe just actually go out in the radiation, because, I don't know, these ghouls might be resistant to it. And, you know, just keep food as, like, your supplies. As time passes, it has become increasingly difficult to govern Plutonia and her followers. My words and warnings. Go unheeded, and I feel that the clique are reaching into my mind to find knowledge that I have kept hidden from them, and for good reason. Plutonia still persists with the notion that the zone needs to be reset, and that the old Mimer defense network is the key. She might have already found out the codes to activate the weapon which she covered so much. Unable to euthanize the insurgents, my only choice is to gather the compliant subjects and meet at the arranged location. Kind of... Kind of messed up he uses the term euthanize. I mean, he's he, he's just straight up going to kill him. This star. This is the star in my dreams. In Pharaoh's memories. Mimo Enclave. Hammond said this was a tribe of ancients linked to Eden. Oh, and there's the bomb. I remember the Elder talking about something called a missile. A, a weapon that could wipe out whole settlements in a heartbeat. This is it. I know it. Nothing much scares me, but this thing is scaring the life out of me. I would say impressive that it's still in working order and everything. Because parts of the base have got, like, you know, stuff growing in them. Holy Book of Fixing. How things. <laughs> Hammond spoke of such a book. This was placed in such a way that indicates the Nova Sect held it in high regard. Airplanes and how they fly. Looks like a bunch of old nonsense to me. Better leave this stuff to the chroniclers. Surprisingly well kept. Unless that was there recently. Even so, that's you know impressive culinary stuff from them. Some kind of control panel. Probably links to that weapon. I wouldn't like to see this turned on. Probably some throne for the Novasek leader. Make them look big and powerful. Oh, please tell me it's a recliner. Gecko is sick of polishing the ancient weapons. It's Gecko is told to do. Can you show Aw, poor Gecko. Ooh, hello. This has to be useful. Something good, something good, something good, something good. Ooh.
Hmm. That could help me later. When I go back out to, you know, finish the place off. Gotta say, the sounds is a bit unnerving. This place reminds me of the Ark. Let's go clean. Oh, adds HP. Oh, this is grim. goes boom. Where the hell is Hammond? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have let Hammond go off by himself. Maybe the important engineer shouldn't have been, you know, used as a stalker at all. This must be where they stored the stalkers, actually. And they were just, you know, starting it. Don't uh, don't look particularly held Adam's in. He's barely alive when we find him. Ah, but we find him. We find him as a team. With Hammond, the Ark's heart can start beating again. We think our mission is complete, but Hammond insists on telling us a secret. A secret that rips a hole through the middle of my life. He tells us he's been to Eden. Yes, the Eden. The mythical place beyond the zone where the secrets to life are kept. Okay. He says Eden is a base for the ancients, who are very much alive and creating the mimer machines we've been seeing. He says the ancients do know the secrets to life, but not human life. Mutant life. Yeah, because they created them. Pharaoh, Selma, Magnus. Our ears perk up. If ducks had ears, they perk up too. Us mutants don't remember jack about our pasts. We're walking amnesiacs. We wonder why some of us look like animals, and others have powers we don't understand. Finding out who we are sounds like the quest of a lifetime, or a very big mistake. There's a problem. Hammond tells us the Nova Sec probed his mind, stole the location of Eden from his thoughts. They're headed there now, determined to unleash the power of the Ancients and cleanse the zone, which means killing everyone inside the Ark. Our home. He says there's one chance to beat the Nova Sect to the gates of Eden. Go through the Forbidden City, he says. It's a shortcut and the Nova Sect are too scared to go through. That doesn't make me feel too good. Hammond begs us not to tell the Elder. Because the Elder won't accept the truth. The Elder's an idiot. Our mission was a man. Now it's Eden. We have one final journey to save the Ark. But if us stalkers discover who we really are, will we want to come back? Huh. So that was good. So a uh, question then is Paul, whatever, whatever the frick that Nova Sec leader is, is she going to Eden just to get the code or is she going to destroy Eden, get the code and destroy the zone too? Also, I mean like all those journal notes have been pretty, pretty, I mean to be fair it it does help that we've had the frickin' Elder's voice in it. If it wasn't for the Elder's voice, I probably wouldn't have figured out that, you know, it was the Elder speaking. 
the mutant stuff still would have figured out, but I would have just assumed the elder's an idiot, not that he's a fat liar. It was clear from this that once he lost control of this place, he decided instead to relocate, take his mutants that were listening to him, and, you know, build the Ark. You know, actually, for the time being, I am going to call it quits here. So, you know what? Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, favorite, subscribe, all that jazz if you have. And goodbye. Have a great day.